it's been an interesting day so far, to say the least, for Call of the Wild, because there's a lot going on with Truax for Mule Deer, uh, console players getting Silver Ridge Peaks and Truax as well, and just, there seems to be some really odd changes, and one of them actually goes along with the score estimates, so taking this Mule Deer, for example, it's 148 to 198, and we need to remember that, so we'll go ahead and try to get him. He's not my favorite looking Mule Deer in the herd, but I think he's the biggest one, so we'll just get him. And like I said, 148 to 198, we need to remember that because the way that the score estimate was working for all true act species was essentially the middle of the estimate was exactly where they scored, and that's been changed, but in a really weird way, and you may be wondering why I'm not really excited to see a level 5 mule deer. That is because the levels are also messed up, so I'm going to try to get him. Might have been a little bit too far back, I would say it was. He kind of slowed down at a really weird time to make that shot work, but it's going to kill him with an intestine hit. But it's certainly not one that we're messing up a diamond, because for some reason, the Mule Deer are going to level 6 and 7 right now, and there's no way that's like a thing that's intended to stay. I don't know why it's happening. But every other animal maxes at 3, 5, or 9, so there's got to be some kind of weird bug where they're supposed to max at 5 and they're just going over that max, so... If you're seeing a bunch of level 5 Mule Deer and wondering why you keep getting trolled, it's not that you're just getting unlucky. It's basically that you're shooting what probably should be a level 4 Mule Deer, and it's displaying as a level 5. So, yeah, if you're looking for a Diamond True Rack Mule Deer, you do need level 6 or better. And just at the moment, all the 5s are going to be trolls, because I don't think any of the 5s are actually ones that should be level 5. But anyway, back to the score estimate on this guy, 148 to 198. If you look, he scores exactly 198. They, I guess, for some reason have it to where the top end of the estimate is just their score, which I guess isn't a huge deal because, as I said, it wasn't difficult to figure out before for any of the true act species. It was just the middle of the estimate. But now that it's the top end, you don't even have to try to figure it out. Is that another... That's another good size mule deer? Very similar to the one we just shot, so... Because we messed that one up, I might try to go get him, but... I don't think it was like a diamond rack. It is another 5, actually. But I've seen some diamonds posted. They do actually look good, by the way. Um, there's a really weird one, like, for the level 7s. But, yeah, I mean, most of the diamonds I've seen look good. So I do want to try to get one. But... That should be a better hit on him, so we can get a proper gold out of one of the fake level 5s. And we'll go ahead and take a look at this guy, but... If you paid attention, I believe this one was 242 at the top estimate, and the one we just shot was 248. But, I mean, just look at the weight here. I guess it was 244. 172 kilos, and they still max at 210. So there's no way this should be a level 5, but we're going to just kind of pretend the levels are where they should be and assume this is just a good size 4. That looks really good. I like the shape of them. I mean, especially just compare them to the old Legacy Racks. The fours look terrible. These are a huge, huge improvement, but let's go get the other one because it actually was a different rack than what we just shot. So that one we lung shot and 222 is gold. Like, he's basically 70 below diamond. There's no way these should be level fives. And again, he's like 30 kilos below the max. So that's just a level issue. But I like this side a lot. This side's kind of wonky and weird. I guess that's okay as like a normal one, especially when it's not like all bent up. But yeah, I mean, these kind of average size gold ones, I think they did a pretty good job with them, but anyway, uh, I did their drink time just to make life a little bit easier to find them sort of congregated, so I want to go to a couple of the good spots just kind of quickly before their drink time ends. Oh, well, that's actually kind of cool. Kind of a decent sized level 4 dilute, so this is the part I don't know. Like, maybe that should be level 3, maybe it should be where it is at level 4, but I mean, either way... Not a bad looking buck. We'll definitely try to just get a shot in there on him. That's a weird spot though, like, I don't remember Mule Deer ever drinking there, but I guess the Mule Deer population would have been reset. That unfortunately was not the hard shot I wanted. I'm not sure where that hit to be honest. Maybe we can save it though. Unfortunately not, so that one we're losing out on. I really want to know where I hit on the first shot, so I want to try to get him. 
naturally that time we made the long shot after we've already made too many shots. That's actually weird. I would have thought the 7 mil would penetrate frontal no problem. But I guess maybe I should be a little more careful about doing that. But yeah, I mean, another good size, just like average-ish mule deer. 163 kilos would have been, I think, a small four. So maybe the level is right, like, as far as the old kind of scaling with the legacy racks and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I think he looks good. And we have another just weird level five. He's 244 again. And for some reason, attentive, so I think there's a mountain lion. Give it a hit before he ends up running off on us, because I do want to hopefully get to one more lake. And we're already kind of past the early drink time ending, but maybe we can still make it. I mean, it's 1014 now, and there are actually some decent mule deer over there, but nothing huge. I mean, 214 and 218 would be just below gold anyway. So just to maybe make it to another spot, I think we're going to leave them, but I mean, again, I like the shape of that. Just obviously he should be more like level four, but I want to go down here because this was one of my best grinding spots when I was trying to get one more uh, legacy rack diamond, so hopefully there's going to be some here still. At least one kind of still hanging out here, so not a bad four. And actually, some kind of walking up out of there, but they won't hear the shot anyway, so let's just get this guy. And then maybe we can see what comes up out of there, but nothing but those so far. You know, the weird thing though, I haven't had pronghorn at this lake in a long time. So I don't know if they maybe reset everything, or if they try to do something to fix zones, or why they're suddenly here, but I kind of miss having this spot as a pronghorn area, so I hope that stays. But there's at least one buck over there that we haven't seen. Not exactly a huge one, but I mean, I really want to get one of those Drurak Diamond ones, so definitely got to take the bucks where we can for respawns. And I don't think we're going to make it over to that other lake in time, because it's probably already past 1030. I mean, Maybe if we're lucky they'll hang out there that long, so we'll try it. Again, as far as like a young mule deer buck goes, I like that as a general frame. We'll try to kind of push it to get over here quickly. Ooh. Is that? That's a light gray. Okay, I don't know if the elk's grasses work the same. But if they do, 487 would be big enough, so... I mean, it's kind of open where he's headed. I thought they were stopping already, but I really want to get that, and I really, really hope he makes it, because I've wanted a light gray Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk from the very beginning. And that's the first level 5 one I've even seen, so... Hopefully he kind of stops over there where we can see. Okay, that's got to be him back there. I can see the frame there. All the other ones are in here super close. And I guess... I don't know if he just took a lot longer to come back. But there's no way I'm taking a frontal shot. Like, we messed up that mule deer already. That, though, is definitely shot we'll go for. So, if, like I said, the scoring works like the mule deer, he should make it at 487. But the thing is, I know for sure pronghorn are doing really weird stuff. Like, if we can find a male pronghorn, I'll show you. The score estimates are bizarre on them. Like, it's nowhere near where they should be scoring, so I'm not really sure what this guy's gonna score. But I just really hope he makes it. I think that's the small diamond rack, but it could definitely be a gold as well, and I'm not sure if that 487 means anything, but he is a diamond, and he is 487, so I would say you can probably kind of rely on that. I want to definitely check it out with more elk, because that's something that I didn't do beforehand. But it might actually be that that's kind of the way that true racks work now. But that's really cool. I've wanted a light gray diamond elk for however long the map's been out. Almost two months. I just, I like the fur type. It's definitely my favorite of the common ones. So that's actually cool. And that, what the heck? Was there something in my face there? I swear there was. But that was a pronghorn buck, I think. And if I could get a spot on that, you can see the estimates are just really, really odd. Okay, they're kind of scooting over through here, but, like, that guy's 16 to 32, and 
I don't think even one that small would score 32. That's gonna be a poor hit, but at this point I kind of want to experiment a bit and I know that'll bring him down. And we know it was 16 to 32. And yeah, he scores 65, so... Like, I have no idea why theirs is different. Maybe just antlered species have it right now? I'm not really sure what to make of all that, but... At least we got a quick experiment going with that and... Maybe some information out of it, but... Yeah, 14 to 28. There, there's no way. I don't think I've ever seen a pronghorn below, like, 40. But for the moment, we'll go back up here and check this end, because I think... I'm pretty sure it's at this spot there should be a mule deer feed zone. He's actually nervous over there, so maybe that gunshot spooked them? I don't think I was that close. But at least we'll get him. And I saw that little guy just laying in there too, which... I don't know why he stayed. But again, respawns, so... Hopefully that'll bring him down. So the first one I definitely like is a silver, and... Probably, like I was talking about earlier, he should be... A three, I'd say. And then the other one I think ran a bit. Yeah, and we were a little bit high on that, so... I mean... Whether he should be a two or a one, that's a... Fine rack for a tiny mule deer, but... I think I want to try maybe one more spot. And I'm not really sure where the feed zones are... Up at the Two Fawns Lake, but... There was a good bit of pressure there from the grinding, and then we shot that Legacy Rack time in one here, so I kind of saved that for last. But I'm hoping there's some in the area. Okay, all I'm finding are mountain lion and I keep hearing bighorn, which are, I think, spooking from the mountain lion before I can ever see them, so... I guess we'll try somewhere else? I don't know if it's that I'm in the wrong places, like I checked near the water and everything. Okay, so that worked out pretty well. I don't really know where he's headed, but... That's a decent little four. So there must... Actually, I think I see where he was headed. I was gonna say there must be a feed zone, but... It was literally where he was going. Kinda looks like he might have been the only buck in that herd, though. So I really don't like this frame. It just feels twisted. Like, I think if these points went inward or outward, it would probably look a lot better, but them going straight forward looks really weird. But anyway, hard shot to end on. I think that's gonna be our last kill, but we do have a trophy lodge visit to make, because we did get that one big elk. I just really, really like that light gray fur type. For some reason, to me, it just looks so cool. Like, comparing that to the brown fur type that's up here. There's something about that gray I really like, and slowly we're actually filling all these big plaques. I think that's our sixth Diamond Rocky Mountain Elk now. But anyway, to talk about the mule deer, we didn't mount any of them because none were super special. And there's definitely some weird stuff that's hopefully going to be fixed with like them going to level 7 and all that stuff with the score estimate. Definitely a little bit odd, but I mean, I know they can make diamond at level 6 and 7, and even if that's what we end up getting, I do want to spend a good portion of the rest of the day actually looking for a uh, Diamond Shrek mule deer. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.